my wife and I think you're the coolest lady ever. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> thank you. My mother and I both love your show. Oh, isn't that cute? You watch it together? Canadian broadcaster Sue Johansson, best known for hosting sex education radio and television programs, including Sunday Night Sex Show in Canada and then a successful American spinoff, has died at the age of 93. Sources telling CTV News she died peacefully, surrounded by her family in Toronto last night. Johansson is considered a pioneer of sex education. Joining me now to discuss her legacy is television critic Bill Brio. Bill, hello to you. Glad you could be with us. The Sunday Thanks. night sex show, whether it was on the radio or later on television, was appointment viewing for an entire generation, and it really changed the way people thought and talked about sex. How was she able to do this without making us all blush? <laughs> it's a great question, Marcia. I think some of us did blush, or some of our parents did. I mean. Sue started this so long ago. She taught me about sex. Okay, let's let's put it in perspective. Uh, but she started out on on cable, on Roger, you know, like on a cable community cable channel. And you know, this is back in the seventies. There weren't a lot of people holding up sex toys on television back then. And uh, so she got your attention, and she just gave you a lot of straight talk. She was a registered nurse, and uh, you know, a lot of really good practical advice. Uh, not just about sexual health, and this is important, but mental health and uh, people dealing with abuse, you know, and she really inspired many educators and many people who came later. She did, and as you point out, she was a nurse. She started a whole sex ed program. Eventually, she won an Order of Canada for her yeah. contribution to this country, Bill. Yeah, I mean, just think of this. I just realized, learned this. Her great uncle was Lord Baden-Powell, who, uh, who started the scouting movement, yes. right? So talk about their motto is be prepared. Uh, you know, <laughs> Sue took that literally. Uh, and I don't know if you remember her other great thing she used to say, Marcia. She, what would you, do you remember her motto? with something she often said on the show? No, I don't remember. Gently Bentley, you know. She, she just tried not to rush things in the bedroom was, was her, her. So a lot of very practical advice. And, uh, yeah, we loved her here. Oh, I... I we, I don't know what to say now. You kind of left me speechless. Um, so uh, that may be her legacy then, Bill? <laughs> well, that and just I think that she had a sense of humor about herself as well. You know, she was on Degrassi a few times playing a sex expert. Uh, and uh, she went on Letterman. She went on Leno and Conan O'Brien. Her show aired in the States for about six or seven seasons. And they couldn't get enough of her down there. She was our Dr. Ruth. And I think even a little more helpful and more straightforward. I think you nailed it. She also had a sense of humor, and that's how she was able to connect with people. Absolutely. You know, she was adorable. But imagine, she started a sex clinic at her daughter's high school. Imagine that one. Like, Mom! How ooh. embarrassing, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's 93. It's a, a, a life well lived. Bill Brio, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Bye. My pleasure, Marcia.